A circuits in Factorio in under 4 minutes. Number 1. Preparations. Research circuit networks to unlock all required items to start off. Research optics as well, so you can do some fancy lighting stuff. Set aside some green circuits and copper wires to reduce handcrafting time. Second, the wires. Wires will carry information which is being sent and received by different entities. Connecting slash disconnecting them to structures is done in the same way as copper cable. A red wire will never connect to a green one and vice versa. To see which machines can be connected to, look out for this icon on its interface. Also here are all of them for quick reference. Small quality of life tip. Even though spending wires manually costs one item per operation, doing the same action with the blueprint is free of charge. Number 3. The power switch. It is really just a simple way to connect slash separate two energy networks. This can be done manually with the on-off slider or set by a condition from a circuit network. Important! Toggling them manually does not require you to always walk over to it. Set up a radar in advance to zoom to it on the map, then just toggle it remotely. Number 4. The programmable speaker. Set a condition when it should go off and select a fitting sound for it. Check the global playback box if the alert should be heard from anywhere on the map. Check the show alert box when you also want a visual reference for what the heck is happening appearing on the bottom right. Check the allow polyphony box to allow the speaker to essentially spam its noise. Check the signal values pitch box only realistically when creating music in some way. Number 5. The lamp. Lamps can be controlled by a circuit network in either turning them on and off or sending a color to them. For doing the fancy color stuff, the user definable signals are used. When sending more than one color information to it, only the highest in priority will show. This order is from highest to lowest red, green, blue, yellow, magenta, cyan, white. Number 6. The constant combinator. Its main use is to provide the connected networks with manual set static signal values. Open up its interface and click on an empty slot. Now choose a signal and assign a value to it. To get rid of it again, right click on it. Alternatively, use the on-off slider for all. Number 7. The Arithmetic Combinator. Its function is to take some existing values from a network on the entry side, do a calculation operation with it, and spit it out on the other side. To be precise, it can do multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, modulo, exponentiation, left bit shift, right bit shift, bitwise and bitwise or bitwise xor. Although realistically speaking, you're only going to use the first 5 or 6 of them in most cases. The two operands on its interface can be any single signal or a constant value. The output signal is not bound to the operands, it can be freely chosen. IMPORTANT An operation of a combinator takes one game tick to be processed. Meaning, if I have 120 combinators in a chain, it takes exactly 2 seconds of latency for all to successfully update to input changes. Number 8. The Decider Combinator Essentially the same as the Arithmetic Combinator, except it does logic operations with its values. Here's what it can do. Is greater than, is less than, is equal to, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, is not equal to. It only outputs any value when its set condition is met. You can freely decide for it to either output a value of 1 for a specified signal or relay any input signal with its value. Important. The same one game tick delay for an operation to happen also applies to it. That's it. Okay, bye.